we wrote uh, the equivalent of a whole season. I mean, it's, if you put them all together. That's a lot. Yeah. Like 26? Yeah. And describe a typical writing week ever. I mean, how? Well, uh, we were in a very relaxed freelance mode at that time. Uh, we, didn't, we weren't under any pressure. Uh, I, I think really the best part of my whole life was when we were living here and Jim and I had discovered that we could do five pages in an hour. So we stayed away from the studio and only worked an hour a day. The rest of the time I was up in my plane or building these things in my workshop. Mm. Uh, that was a good life. Did you and Jim come up with story ideas for MASH? Oh yeah, yeah. Many of the story ideas came right out of our military careers. Had Jim been in the service? Yeah, he was in the army in uh, Australia. Yeah. So what kind of things did you come up with uh, from your Navy well, uh, years? Once in the Navy, uh, we got a new commanding officer, and uh, they said uh, he was an unusual rank, Commodore. So said, Commodore Seligman has been blown through a porthole on the Lexington, but he's all right. He's all right. So he came, and we were having captain's mast where an enlisted man is tried. It's like a court-martial, but for an enlisted man. And uh, this, this black sailor was being tried, and uh, Seligman said, uh, all right, son, uh, tell us what happened, but tell us in your own words. He says, but first, give us a number. He says, a number, sir? He says, yes, you know what you people do. When the doctors beat the feet in the Mississippi mud, what a dance. Well, that's what we did with Harry Morgan. The same song. We did it on MASH. And that came right out of my life. You know, another time when... Uh, I, f I flew a plane that wasn't supposed to be flown, and I wasn't supposed to be flying it, but I, I only flew it to the end of the runway. Then I put the brakes on, and they were taking bets on how close I would come to the water. Well, I went in the water, and uh, I was put under tent arrest where I had to stay in my tent. We did that with Hawkeye after he punched uh, Frank. We did that with Hawkeye on all the... What was your best experience on MASH, what was the episode that you liked the most? Oh gosh, I liked a lot of them. There, there was one, another one that, that was based on, part of it was based on, when I was instructing flying in the Navy, I was a couple of years younger than all the people I was teaching, and smaller. I was still growing in the war. So I sent away to uh, Adler's Elevated Shoes in Chicago so I could be taller, and I got these elevated shoes. I had to have all my pants let down, and I went to Indianapolis and got into an elevator, and the elevator went up, and I crumpled to the floor. I couldn't get up because I was like a colt. My legs were so long compared to the rest of me. The elevator man had to help me up. Well, we did that with radar how in this, that particular show. How, how did you do that? We didn't have him fall down, but we did have, no one knew we, something was different about him. And then Alan Alda explained to him that it isn't how tall you are that makes, you know, he gave him a very nice lecture. But in that same show, uh, we had Frank accused of rape. Everyone thought that Frank had raped Mary Wicks. Actually, she was trying to seduce him. And that happened during the, uh, the tent arrest. And they were also showing uh, movies in the tent. Uh, and they were showing... Uh, uh, a star who had an overbite. I can't think of her name. But uh, it was all about overbites and uh, being house arrest. And uh, it, it worked very well.